Hi guys, welcome to the channel. General greeting for my friends Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for October 2020. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, opening theme for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for October 2020. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Alright, we got three cards. Hold your vision, what do you need to release and don't let pride get in your way. So, this is quite a combination. Maybe something that uh, is calling for you to be released, to be left behind. Maybe it is expired or it is due uh, to be left in the past do not let pride get in your way this can be something that you are not exactly um, ready to do or properly convinced but there is a vision that is calling for you to be focused on what truly matters and maybe this is a way to make space for something uh, new so even the pride uh, factor uh, maybe it is uh, it is a good thing to put him aside you know because maybe there is something better that can come your way so let's see what the tarot has to say about this combination already a flyer for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, October 2020. All right, here we go. So, Three of Swords, the Devil, Six of Wands, which is good. Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands, King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Chariot, the Hierophant. Seven of Wands, bottom of the deck, a little bit of resistance in this case, with the brave stand, the defensive stand uh, offered by the Seven of Wands. That's why the don't let pride get in your way can be meaningful you know so guys um right off uh off the bat allow me to say two scenarios one with uh the person in the first row and the person in the second row together and a completely different scenario where the person in the first row is called to overcome a toxic connection that they were involved with before, a source of uh, heartaches. So just to be clear, then let's go for the spread. I will keep the seven of wands as a reminder and we have confusion uh, five of wands bottom of it so first row of energies usually your person of interest the person that uh, you are dealing with feel free to pick your side if the reading um, goes in the reverse you know so this person is involved in a devilish situation um, something not healthy for them as a first scenario they have um, or still are experiencing um, three of swords energy so heartaches sadness regrets disappointments um, heavy energies this combination is extremely um, challenging because the devil is an energy that is about excesses you know and the persons that are involved in these uh, devilish situation are chained very 
um, in a very restricted uh, and narrow-minded also uh, situation and they will stay there until at least one of them will get the pattern right in order to break free from the situation. If uh, this uh, outcome does not happen, the devil keeps enjoying this uh, situation, you know. Still, this person has the chance to be successful with the six of ones, a warrior that comes back from the battle victorious, you know, victory, triumph, um, moving forward. This is three of swords, devil energy. This is a battle on an energy level, you know, that's why the warrior uh, coming back from the conflict makes sense. So if you are not together, this is someone that is experiencing a uh, a challenge in order to leave behind a previous chapter that was not healthy for them. Second row of energies, guys, usually you watching. Heart of the reading, Ace of Wands. A bright new beginning, a spark full of passion. So if you are not together with the person in the first row, you are kind of overwhelmed by the uh, situation that basically does not you does not allow you to help this person in a, a material way because there is nothing that you can do about it you know the eight of swords is an overwhelming energy that basically makes this lady feel as there is no way out there is a way out because if she walks forward, she can be free from the self-inflicted prison of the mind, because these swords are thoughts. But if you are outside of the situation that this person is experiencing, you need to allow them to take care of it. You know, we cannot do the work for others. You can support them, meaning that you, um, you can... Uh, cheer for them allow me to say but it, it's not something that it's um, it is not something that you may have the opportunity to influence you know this situation uh, needs to unfold naturally they need to take care of it then stand in your power king of pentacles very grounded very stable uh, do not doubt uh, the feelings that you may have for this person this bright new beginning heart position will work in your favor you will have the chance to uh, even express your uh, solidarity allow me to say towards this person as soon as they will be free from the previous commitment i say commitment but let's say situation because uh, it's possible commitment because we have the higher of the meeting of the energies. So, so following this first this first scenario, meeting of the energies, Queen of Wands, the Chariot, Hierophant. If the person in the first row was involved in a marriage, this Hierophant energy, too restrictive, you know, not enough freedom involved. Too many belief systems also with the hierophant they want to move forward towards success possibly with you but you are stuck in a situation without the opportunity to help them you can do it mm, thinking about them but as i told you they need to take care of the situation queen of wands self-confidence is important for the both of you in order to overcome the situation um at the same time, the queen is in touch with her intuition, you know, and for this very reason, she is able to navigate within all the circumstances that she may be called to face. The chariot is an auspicious energy aimed at the future. There is success that can be achieved moving forward, kind of um, offering substance to the six of wands, you know, the success move, moving forward energy and also the ace of wands that is an auspicious and hopeful spark that can be ignited you know 
The hierophant can be also about the connection that you may desire to uh, pursue with the person in the first row as soon as they are free. This is the first scenario, guys. I hope that I made myself clear. The second one is for some of you that are together with the person in the first row. If that's the case, this person is not as exactly healthy for you. Uh, for whatever reason, there is some pattern involved with them that uh, it's not working, but for themselves in the first place, this can be some addiction, allow me to say, that can make them feel um, guilty, you know, but on the inside, while on the outside, they act, you know, prideful way with the six of ones. I hope that you get my point. Because in this scenario, you are together, but you feel without tools to resolve the situation. You would love to embrace a new spark because you feel that the connection can be um, solid, but there is something that must be released, you know, and it is also a matter of pride because maybe the person in the first row do not want to release these, whatever is involved in this devilish three of swords combination, you know. The meeting of the energy calls for queen of wands, so um, a self-confident approach in order to take care of something that is important in order to have success, you know, in a situation that is a source of challenge. But at the same time, we have the Chariot and the Hierophant, meaning that we can even um, take this combination as a moving away from the established connection, you know? It, it doesn't have to be a, a marriage, it can be a committed uh, relationship, you know. So guys, I will clarify a couple uh, of energies because this is quite a challenging reading. And I will try my best to be as clear as I can. So, Three of Swords and the Devil for sure. Page of Pentacles. Okay, Priestess. So, if you are together with them, they do not want to talk about the things that it's clear that are not working and that are a source of discomfort. Okay, yeah, Priestess. They intuitively, they know that there is a problem, but they are acting in a Page of Pentacles way which is sincere and honest uh, usually, we can agree on that, but in this case he is working in a childish way, you know, and the contrast is uh, impressive for me because the A Priestess is a powerful intuitively guided energy that can be a source of guidance in order to understand in a deep, deep way, what's going on, but the devil, the devil is challenging, and if the person chooses to deal with a, some kind of immature approach, they will not be able to uh, manifest properly the high priestess power, you know, so they will not release the pattern, because there is a touch of pride, allow me to say, meaning that they cannot be... Uh, they cannot be uh, mature enough to uh, let go of this resistance, you know. If you are not together, this person is dealing in a quiet way with someone that is extremely challenging, uh, the other person meaning, not your person, the one that they were dealing with in the previous unhealthy connection. They are keeping the interactions extremely simple because they know that they are dealing with someone that uh, 
it's quite a character and not in a positive way. Let's see for you. Eight of Wands, overwhelming energies. Kind of not knowing what you can do. Two cards, guys. The Moon and the Five of Pentacles. Again, if you are together with the person in the first row, there is something that is hidden, unclear, that uh, would require a deeper, deeper understanding. But there is a fear factor in the moon because there is something that is brewing under the surface. And the devil energy with the three of swords, again, it's a challenging pattern, unhealthy, some toxic behavior for example depending on the circumstances if if this is not your story you leave it here the messages you know they will be useful for someone else the five of pentacles is lacking uh, of communication usually uh, the one meaning about uh, feeling left out in, in the cold if you are together with the person in the first row you are kind of uh, sensing the fact that because the pattern is so deep your desire to ignite a new spark may be uh, at risk and so you are running the the chances basically to experience a cutting of communication that's why I told you that the chariot will move away from the from the commitment you know and if you are not together with the person in the first row, you are not talking with them, so no communication, that's why you experience Eight of Swords, overwhelming energies. Um, you cannot interact with them in order to help them. They need to take care of the situation by themselves. The moon, it's a, an energy about something that is... Uh, Secret meaning that you cannot express your concerns to this person because otherwise it will be a further burden for them. You know, they are already dealing with something challenging. If they know that you are extremely concerned about their uh, situation, they, <laughs> they can even be uh, uh, more burdened by these factors so you are keeping it as a secret the moon something that is not revealed you know you have the desire to ignite a spark with them but they need to be successful before you know then guys let's go for the chariot and the hierophant in the meeting of the energies of this very complex reading i hope that i made myself clear so far so the empress with the chariot And the magician so eight of cups bottom of the deck um this can go two ways i will pull the eight of cups and i will keep it here um guys if you are together with the person in the first row despite the feelings that you may have had for them if the situation cannot be resolved because this person is not uh, willing to release this factor that is working against the connection you will embrace empress energy meaning uh, a decision based on love but towards yourself first you know because it is clear that you can't change the ways of this person that you are with so the empress because it is about self-love she can recognize if uh, an opportunity is deserving of air uh, loving energies and nurturing energies and if it is not she will move towards a different opportunity you know the chariot goes along so the empress will move towards a successful opportunity as soon as she, she will recognize that this is something that cannot be changed. So, Eight of Cups leaving behind 
something that couldn't fulfill heart and soul after a well thought decision you know this is a brave decision but uh, still a challenging one so manifesting your way out from the partnership if you are together if you are not together with the person in the first row and they are dealing with a challenging ex uh, partner allow me to say you are kind of waiting on the outside feeling left out in the cold because you can't express your concerns in favor of your special uh, someone still they can be victorious you know maybe a little bit of patience and as soon as they are victorious and free from this situation because they will leave the unful unfulfilling eight cups behind the chariot will work in favor of the connection between you and your special person the spark offered by the ace of wands can be ignited at uh, that point basically the nurturing energies of the empress will uh, join forces with the queen of wands self-confident and very passionate individual and the magician in order to manifest out of the tools that you will have at your disposal success moving forward possibly a partnership uh, well structured between you that are already very grounded and the person that uh, has, bre has um, broken free from the unhealthy connection this is a challenging reading guys two scenarios one may call for some gemini to leave behind a connection because there is a toxic pattern involved within it and the person that is uh, driving the toxic pattern is not willing to uh, let go of it and so some gemini will go for a for a different uh, path other gemini's basically are waiting for their special person to break free from a, a healthy commitment or whatever you cannot do uh, much for them you need to wait basically in order for the spark to be ignited and then the connection between you and your special person can be fulfilled manifested properly towards higher of energy structured opportunity success with the chariot love nurturing energy healing also i want to say because the person in the first row uh, definitely needs it and the connection can be built in a successful way guys what can i say i hope that i made myself clear um i'll continue on you i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below i hope it was helpful in some way if you resonate, let us know, leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Uh, take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.